We are live in Mena, the Niger state capital, where protests erupted this morning over rising inflation, resulting in the hike of gas and fuel prices. The Pakungu roundabout leading to NECO headquarters and the Federal University of Technology has been blocked by protesting youth. Hoodlums are said to have barricaded the roads, stopping commuters from passing through. Our correspondent, Chenemi Bamei, is live for us, and we'll be speaking to him for more on the development. Chenemi, what is the situation now? Is the protest still on? All right, Chenemi, if you can hear me, what exactly is the situation now? Is the protest still on? Um, all right. Um, good morning. Sorry, good afternoon. The protesters have been dispatched from the, from the location, from the scene, as um, police were, were as, as police shot, shot, um, as police shot some fires into the air just to calm the situation because it was getting volatile. They get, Governor of the state, Jakubu Garba, visited the place in the morning. He had to be excused from from the um, state executive council meeting that was ongoing, as directed by the governor. Um, but not much has changed. Risk has changed really. The people were complaining about the rising cost of food items, essential food items, especially rice and the price of gas. Right now, in this place, a, a, a kg of gas costs 1,000 naira. Um, local rice here costs about 2,000 naira, and the foreign rice costs 2,500 naira. Now, that's quite some concern because Niger State is largely known for agriculture, and the people are angry that they have to buy um, rice that they farm at that expensive price. Also, considering the fact that the Muslim um, Ramadan season will soon commence, so they feel like if they get their their um, the, the the, their grievance is out by this time, it might get some attention from the government. Mm. All right, Chanem, I remember the governor saying he should be, you know, uh, identified as the farmer's governor. Have we gotten any reactions just yet from the state government? All right, like I said, the, the deputy governor that spoke on behalf of the governor, because the governor is currently attending to the state executive council meeting, the executive governor said that they are taking measures to distribute more palliatives. They are just seven months in office, and they have distributed palliatives three times in just seven months, which proves that um, palliatives will not solve the problem. You know, but um, the, the plan from the governor largely is to is to um, improve mechanized agriculture in the state, and all those things they are still just in the pipeline. The results will show. In, let's say probably in the next farming season, the governor has been securing various funds and loans to improve agriculture in the state, which is why he called himself the farmer governor. So it's expected that in the next harvest season, if these um, if these um, these loans and these monies are being um, are being channeled into agriculture, it's expected that in the next farming season things should things should look up, things should be, be better a bit. Mm -hmm. But I think majorly it's due to the price of the price of, of fuel, which has led to the increase in all of these um, other commodities, because it's not just what people farm, including gas, you know, that part of what their complaints are. Indeed, Chalemi. And then we know that the people might have been dispersed today, but does this seem strong enough to actually prevent them from gathering again? I mean, what is their outlook like? Okay, right now, the protest is only happening around Pakungu area, and that Pakungu leads to the Federal University of Technology permanent site and also the NECO headquarters. The government is trying to ensure that it does not spread across other neighborhoods. Now, that particular neighborhood is quite volatile when issues like this come up. You know, there are, there are usually security concerns, and it can easily degenerate into into um, into um, theft and robbery by hoodlums that might be lurking around that area. So um, right now, issues are a bit um, under control, but we don't know what might happen later or even tomorrow, but we'll stay on top of the situation. All right, Chenemi, thank you very much for that update. Chenemi Bamiyu for us in Mina, Majesty.